Jason of Ranoff. My lords, the Taliban exist within Islam and its Sharia law. They are Islamists. This brings us up against the problem of how we describe and distinguish between the vast majority of our own Muslims, who are peaceful and a great credit to our society, and their violent co-religionists. We talk about political Islam, radical Muslims, and Islamists when we refer to the violent type, and about Muslims when we refer to our peaceful friends. My lords, this confusion is perhaps most on display in the concept of Islamophobia, which is an unhelpful word because it isn't phobic to fear the modern world's most violent ideology as pursued by the Islamists, etc. My lords, the evil in human nature is also active today in China's treatment of the Uyghur Muslims and in the Buddhist Burmese treatment of the Rohingya. But my lords, according to the religionofpeace.com website, in the 30 days before the recent Taliban success, there were 182 deadly Islamic, Islamist attacks in 24 countries, in which 1,084 people were killed, with 1,100 wounded. And since 9-11, there have been 39,849 such attacks worldwide, or roughly four every day. My lords, the vast majority of these attacks have been on other Muslims, but by no means all. Charlie Hebdo, the Manchester Arena, London Bridge and Streatham come to mind. In the three years of 2014, more than twice as many British Muslims went to Iraq and Syria to wage, to wage jihad than joined the British Army. Staying at home, my lords, the Batley schoolmaster remains in hiding for his life just because he showed his pupils a picture of Muhammad. So, my lords, I submit that it is not phobic to fear Islam, which is responsible for by far the most violence on our planet today. However, if we so much as even try to learn and talk about Islam, we are immediately called Islamophobic by the Muslim Council of Britain, Tel Mama, and other suspect organizations. Yet we can say what we like about any of the world's other religions, and nobody turns much of a hair. But my lords, there is good news too. The Abraham Accords are holding up, and the Grand Mufti of Egypt has recently issued a fatwa declaring that the Islamist terrorists are criminals, in which he is supported by over 100 leading muftis worldwide. My lords, this is a landmark event. And more and more Muslims are coming into the open with interpretations of the Quran, which put it into a modern context and deny its, its Islamist interpretation. Some of them are in this country, risking the death penalty. And the burden of my story today is to ask the government and our security services to watch over them and so help them to further their purpose. My lords, the future of our civilization may depend on that.